Too much to grip, not too long, not too short, it's perfect. Get you an A and P. If I let him pull it out right there, there is no arm bar. All right, so when I go from here to here, I keep his elbow in front. Cut my angle, jump the shoulder. All right. Let me see. <laughs> Grab a partner, it doesn't matter who, whoever you're comfortable with. And we'll go ahead and get started. One, two, three, throw it out. Job, y'all want to roll? Partners and everything. You want? Yeah. Just got done teaching me jiu-jitsu over here at the Gulfport location. Got a Muay Thai class, Muay Thai class, but good talent in here. Gonna go over some checks and returns, space. It's gonna be really good. I want to come up to that same angle, so they think it's a teach to the body, and then I go straight down. To it. All right. So we do, 
I get it's shoulder control, clear, lock, and I keep his head trapped as much as I can. Now he's got to clear his head out. I'm not doing it for him. And eventually I can do it if I want, but I can just stay here. Knees tight up on my elbow, knees to the ground, and then sit. What's that? Nah, that was smart. That didn't but even if they get up and get away, you can head kick. Like, this is, they're off balance. They're on one limb. They're vulnerable. You know, so there's a lot of stuff you follow up with there. I didn't see that the whole time I was doing it. If he's smart and I start doing this, he's going to just abandon everything else and just come to my head. Okay. Yeah, this. This keeps me to where like it's not gonna be able to get my head down. Right. I can still defend myself. And I'm like I actually it's a really good spot to take a shot from my way too. Okay. If you're square I can't just even if I go away, I'm not gonna get to shoot. From here I separate. Now in wrestling is like, yeah. So check this out. Um take your hips like the two laser beams coming out. Point them at him. Okay? Just got finished with some morning wrestling at ABMA. About to drop this little dude off at the babysitter and head to D1 and get something to eat before that gets strong. Hey Sherman ready for his upcoming bare knuckle boxing match. <laughs> for the title. For the title. For the title. The 185 title. No, I was playing heavyweight. About to take it. Easy. Been training in here for a month now. Have had no incidents. Incidents. Fucking Chase comes in here one time. Got a hole the size of my fucking ass. Started the treadmill, uh, doing two one two. So eight to two minutes, eleven for one minute, eight for two minutes. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna be doing fifteen second sprints for for five minutes. Yeah, yeah you do for five. Then we switch. Just got done hitting morning cardio over here at the Savage Association gym at my house in the garage. I'm about to clean up and go to the gym and work on some striking and wrestling. Das Zombie. Got a fight coming up. Again. One week. One week, August 2nd. Island fights, UFC Fight Pass. Trey fights the same night as me, August 17th. Main event on Gulf Coast. Me. Shout out to Revalue Fitness Equipment. They uh, hooked me up with a lot of this equipment over here so that we could work out at the house instead of having to go to some gym somewhere and not have anybody distract us. So, man, that's a huge help right there. Check them out on Instagram, Revalue Fitness. Leg lock's good. That one little choice to go to the other. The second you feel that cat on your back, elevate and throw.
we're going for seven miles, but we're gonna go ahead and hit 10. We feel good, so why stop? Shout out to my sponsor, L Fitness, also known as Revalue Fitness Equipment. If you check them out on Instagram, Facebook, or their website, fit, uh, revaluefitnessequipment.com. Man, they got some good stuff. They helped me out with this treadmill, that bike, this rower, these black and yellow mats that are badass, cooler B colors. So, man, they hooked me up with these shirts for me and my team to wear, these shirts and hats for me and my team to wear out in. Uh, California fight week uh, when we will definitely be sporting them. Y'all check them out. That's also going to be the banner that's going to be hanging up in here soon. So be on the lookout. Federal Fitness, Revalue Fitness Equipment. St. Sherman's big ass. He's got a bare knuckle title fight coming up next weekend. Not next weekend, but the next weekend, August 10th. Weekend before my fight. Now, I don't know why these plants. Probably got to plant these ones. Some tomatoes, four tomato plants, bell pepper plant, jalapeno plant, banana peppers. And then, got Mike Tamper coming over. We're about to train some leg locks, I'm guessing. I think his opponent's just more athletic. So, when you're more athletic, you can do shit like that and make it work. Keep my chest away from his back, change the line. Get perpendicular. You do these things, it's so hard for guys to control your shoulder. But when we go out there, I want to be 147. I want to leave here at 147. So that's two weeks to get down. MMA and wrestling, and then we'd have an hour of condition. He did it twice, he did not. Nasty <laughs> elbow. Oh, she landed on him. Yeah. Hey, I need one.